It's always good to be in the bush. Another beautiful day in Victoria. If it was like this all the time, I could probably live here. But uh, we've been having months and months of just cold weather and I'm just not used to it. Anyhow, we're in the bush. I'll just do a bit of a loopy around. And I found a track. So I just went down this random track and just parked up here and I thought I'd start this video off. Today, I'm just gonna take you for a ride and I'm just gonna do some exploring, see what I can find. And where am I? I'm around Anglesey. That's um, kinda the start of the Great Ocean Road. And Enzo, he's there. He's a bit dirty, but I've given up on trying to keep him clean. Awesome bike. The last thing you want out in the bush is complicated electronics to stuff up. One of the reasons I like this bike is it's pretty basic and even the throttle, it's just a cable and uh, the ABS and anti-braking I just have that off all the time except the front ABS that's pretty good but the back um, I just gotta have it off especially on dirt roads a lot of times you come around a corner and you you might be a bit too hot and you're drifting across the other side of the road and you just got to drop a back gear and give it all and get that back to step out. If you have all that birdie traction control on, you'll just crash. You know what I'm saying? Well, those people that are watching that know about it know what I'm saying. You know, this is what the bike's for. It's for getting out in the bush. But so many people buy this thing and just ride on the bitumen. But this is where it belongs, in the Aussie bush. Put a heap of gaffer tape there to stop it getting scratched. Yeah, I could buy something fancy, but that's all I had. Got a uh, clamp there for my phone. And the camera I'm using on top of the helmet is the Sony. And I've just got the Sony mount and it kind of sits there all right. And that just uh, connects to my phone so I can control it with my phone. And also I can power my phone I've got this outlet here which is straight to the battery um, so that goes out of there and into the phone but um, yeah what can I say just so quiet I remember when I first bought Enzo he was spotless but <laughs> not anymore But I think I'm going to have this bike for a long time. Well, the weather's a lot better than when I went for a ride the other day. So nice when the sun's out. So this is just a random track I found. It's actually locked off, so four-wheel drives can't get through here. But of course, if you're on a motorbike, that's no worries. Ah, beautiful little track. Just taking it easy, cause I'm out here by myself. Don't know if I got phone reception. Oh, look at that one. Someone got bogged there. There we are. Here's the gate. <laughs> All right, we'll head down this road here and uh, we'll find another track. Oh, how nice is it when the sun's out? Beautiful blue day. It's amazing how the weather can change so quick down here. Lots of kangaroos or wallabies along here, so just keep my speed down a bit. Okay, what's this one called? 
the old Telegraph Road. Otway Forest Park. Whoa, a few potholes there. <laughs> there to be lots of potholes in Victoria. Looks like we're in a pine plantation. East Worm Betty Road. Let's go to the right. left or down here let's go down here cool Whoa. sand really need to change the gearing on this thing uh, from first to second just for this type of riding just too much of a well second gear is too fast uh, and you run out in first so yeah I need to uh, maybe make first a bit lower and then second would be a bit like what first is now Cool little track, more sand. And it goes into the forest here. Nice. Sand. Now we're going uphill. Woohoo! Oh. Might have been better coming back the other way. Just let the engine do the braking. Got to remember, flings I'm out here by myself, so I don't want to push it too much. Just having an iced, enjoying morning ride, exploring the tracks of Victoria in the Otway Forest. Sand. Uh, if you had like a little 400 or 250, you'd fang through here. All right, I'll stand up on the foot peg, see if that'll make it any better. Yeah, I can read the road a bit better now. That's being a grandpa sitting down. Awesome.
Oh, it looks like someone's little farm. That looks pretty. Great little spot. There's a steep hill. Will I make it up there? I'll pick my line. Let's see what happens. Shit. Shit. That was a bit steeper than I thought. And I was rutted out. But I got up there. Wouldn't want to do that in the wet. Let's go back this way. Always daunting when you're on a big bike doing that. Because if you get stuck, then you won't be able to get going again. I nearly stuffed it. That's where you need a little bike. Well, there's a few little whoopies here. Yeah, really got to change the gearing better if you're going to do more of this. I tell you what, I wouldn't have got up there if I didn't have a tractionator on the back. Such a good tire in the bush. It's a must have actually. But yeah performance on the bitchman's not the best winds a little bit but I'm surprised how well they uh, grip okay we're back on this track again just like did a big loop that little workout oh here's another track let's go up this one This is cool. I don't know where this track comes out at. <laughs> Might stop here and just up here a bit and just uh, enjoy the peacefulness. What a great little forest. Oh, here's a bog hole. Luckily, we've only got one little track. I'm gonna stop here and absorb the quietness. Can you hear that? Nature. <laughs> Let's give you a 360. That's what you do in the bush. <laughs> not bad world, not bad. You camp out here, no worries. No one will know you here. Poor Enzo needs a clean. Heavy duty radiator guards.
are a must. And also, a big, thick bash plate is a must. Aussie Africa Twin Owners Facebook group. I'm sure a few of you are already on that. It's getting gnarlier. Now it's turning into a track. <laughs> Ah, oh, cool little bike. Uh, if you had a cool little 250 or something, 400, you'd fang along here. Must come out somewhere. Look at that mess. Where's me line? Can't find a line. Up here. Ah oh, shit. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> Couldn't stop her from falling. Now it's getting into a proper track. Oh, gotta go bush. Oi. Stalder. Give Enzo a, oh, a wash after this. <laughs> well, that got me warmed up. Bottom down there. That's going to be muddy. Yep. Wow, that was fun. A bit tight for Enzo. Oh, look at that. We're here. Little plantation. Get the air conditioner going. Where does this come out? Is this on a road that I can recognize? Yes. Yes. Oh, I know where I am. Oh, that was cool. Woohoo! Excellent. Got a little bit wild there in places. But Enzo did it. Back on the main road now. This one heads back to Aries Inlet, I believe.
found another track. I can see why they close the road. Four wheel drives just wreck it. Just churn it up. Open it up when the rain stops. More mud. Hey, where are we? There's a walk. Okay. Waterfalls, 2.2 k's. Distillery Creek picnic area, 6.7. There you go, all you bushwalkers. But I'm too lazy to walk. I got Enzo. Oh yeah. Gotta love motorcycle riding, eh? Or adventure riding. <laughs> Downhill again. What a cool track. Still going down. We must have been on top of a mountain. Oh, it's getting gnarly now. Oh, we've got a street sign. <laughs> Where are we? No right turn. Iron something road. I'll keep following this one. Still going down. Hope it doesn't get any steeper. Looks like push bike riders use this track so if they can get up and down here I'm sure I can well the card on my helmet camera just went well filled up but we just came down there great little track and we are Kuriong Falls. No motorbikes and horses. I wonder if they'll allow electric motorbikes when they come in. Well, Earthlings, I'm going to wrap that little ride up. The card on that camera is full. The road's over there, the main road, which is boring. Great little track. Great bike. I'm going to take Enzo home and wash him. Thanks for watching and Hopefully this weather will stay like this and I'll take you for a ride down the great ocean road and show you a few Muppets. <laughs>
Bye.